Hi guys! I finally decided it was time to do a YouTube video to show the differences in my family tree DNA results and my ancestry DNA results. So for those of you that are interested in doing the DNA tests, you can see the differences. Um, maybe you want to do one or the other or both. So anyway, I wanted to give a little bit of ancestral background uh, from more recent times. Um, my, my dad's side of the family, his uh, mother's family was from Shaka, Sicily, and they were fishermen. Um, his father's family was from the Midwest, from Illinois, and they uh, migrated from uh, Germany, uh, what is now Germany, and Poland, and they were farmers. And then my maternal side, her father uh, was from Genoa, uh, specifically in little communes in the hills uh, called Rondonina and Propata. Uh, and then her maternal side uh, was German. Um, they were bakers and uh, builders of houses. And then Irish, but we don't really know what they did in Ireland or how long they were in the United States is kind of like a brick wall. So that's also a reason why we did the DNA test to figure that one out and we still haven't. So anyway, um, I just want to get straight into it. Um, at some point, I think right now I will show all my DNA breakdowns. I'll like cut it right here <laughs> and show you guys. Um, but I'm going to go on to the Ancestry site, uh, oh, on my phone, I forgot, <laughs> let's see, I'm going to go into the Ancestry site on my phone so it's easier, uh, you can see all that kind of stuff, okay, um, I have the Ancestry app on my phone and uh, my ethnicity estimate, so I am knowing my background, okay, so I'm basically half Italian, German, Irish, this is what we know in present times, right? Or more current times. Okay, so I am less than 1% Asia South. So that's India, like that area. And then for the European, I am 98% European. Um, out of that 98%, I am 45% Italy, Greece. No surprise since I said I was you know, basically half Italian. 33% Great Britain which is a little different, um, but I guess, you know, over the years, uh, England and Germany, you know, went back and forth and stuff like that. So I can understand that. Um, so basically the Great Britain, I would guess, is the German. Um, you guys can put comments down and let me know what you think on that one. 6% um, Irish, which is a little lower than I thought, so probably my uh, great-grandfather who was the Irish person might have been something else like the Great Britain which also makes sense and then um, what else then I have the trace regions for the European I have 3% Europe West 3% Iberian Peninsula 1% European Jewish 1% Europe East and less than 1% Finland Northwest Russia and then my West Asian results um, are less than 1% uh, Caucasus and less than 1% Middle East. So that's it on that. And then there's another thing that Ancestry is doing that's new. It's called Genetic Communities, um, which you guys can see in the insert whenever I inserted it. <laughs> um, uh, so one of my groups is Sicilians. It says, connection possible. Well, yeah, obviously. That, my family was from Sicily. And more recently, like early 1900s kind of a thing. And then the next genetic community is Germans in Brandenburg and mecklenburg Vorpommern, And that says possible. Um, that makes sense because my Germans were from, well, obviously, uh, Germany, <laughs> Prussia. Um, and what is now Poland, uh, like Western, Western Poland. So kind of like on the border. So there's that. That's pretty interesting too. Um, you don't necessarily have to have like a 
family tree or anything set up on Ancestry to get this genetic community uh, part. Um, it just all depends on what your matches are doing and all that good stuff. So there was that. And then I want to show the, the differences between uh, Ancestry and Family Tree. So I will go into Family Tree on my phone, which is, I'm getting there. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. Okay, hold on. I'll do it on my computer. <laughs> okay, so, because I know I have my password and all that good stuff. Okay, um, okay, so I'm already logged in, it does appear. Um, okay, so my family tree DNA test. This um, interface is a little bit harder to navigate versus Ancestry um, if you haven't used it yet. Uh, what the heck? It's always like that, it's, it's weird. It's, it's hard to figure it out. <laughs> and I've had it for a couple of years too, right? Um, okay, my origins. Jeez. Okay, they just uh, changed the um, percentages, I believe. Um, they did an update sometime this year. Um, it didn't do really much for me, but I've heard that the new update, a lot of people are uh, finding discrepancies and like they don't really understand why they are their percentages that they are. That sucks. Um, I, I don't really know what that's all about. Okay, here are my results. And we'll do an insert. <laughs> okay, so um, my breakdown is 95% European, and then we'll look at uh, what they narrow it down to. 58% um, West and Central Europe. Okay, yeah. Uh, West and Central Europe, that's kind of interesting because, uh, well, the next category here uh, down is Southeast Europe, 25%. So they're kind of calculating, I guess, some of my Italian to be German. Okay, I mean, I, I can see that because um, part of my family was from Northern Italy, which, you know, that's close to West and Central Europe. So. It's kind of, you know, it, it could go either way on that one. And then 12% um, British Isles. So that works too. Um, the Irish uh, is not in there um, per se, but it is in like the little the blue um, uh, area that's highlighted. So I guess that works. It's more or less, right? And then the next category is Middle Eastern, which is... Uh, 5% and I am 3% Asia Minor and 2% North Africa. And then my trace results are less than 1% West Middle East. So those are my results. And then I wanted to um, tell you the haplo groups for my parents that I have. Um, that uh, shows where you're like way back into the past, your um, ancestors are from where they originated from and migrated. Um, my dad is L2A1C, which uh, originated from uh, Central Africa. And his, uh, that's, that's his, um, so that'd be his mother's mother's side um, haplogroup, the mDNA. I don't know if I said that first, um, but yes. Um, those are the Sicilians, and from what I was told, uh, that is a very rare haplogroup that comes, the, that would be from Sicily, um, but his family were fishermen, so they did travel, you know, for, it was like for centuries. So that's interesting, and we don't have his uh, Y DNA, we didn't test him for that, you know. It's pretty cut and dry, but there could be surprises there. <laughs> And then um, my mom's haplogroup for the maternal, the mDNA, is U5A to B. And then um, we had our uncle do the Y-DNA test for the paternal side, which are the northern Italians, you know, from Genoa. And his was E-M35, which also I hear is very uncommon 
for that area. So we had um, him further tested. Um, he got tested for the 67 markers. I guess the highest you can go is 111. And the more markers you test for the Y-DNA, the more um, honed down and specific it gets uh, for your ancestry and also your matches, which is really interesting. Um, and then I wanted to tell you guys a couple of interesting facts. Um, about other people's DNA results, just a couple things. Uh, my dad, um, whereas I had low amounts of West Asian and Asian, he was 4% West Asian and 4% Asian, which is interesting. And we have um, our ancestry on the Sicilian side going back into the 1700s, and there isn't anything yet um, that shows anything about India or West Asia or Middle East or anything like that. So I'm guessing a lot of people mixed, um, you know, that had mixed ancest ancestry and stuff like that, this mixed heritage. And um, over the years, I would guess. Um, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. And then his aunt did the test because my grandmother is no longer with us. Um, she did the test and she was 69% Italy, Greece and 27% West Asian. So that's the, the caucus, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, in Middle East. Um, and her parents were both from Shaka, Sicily. So that's like, you know, the the somebody direct from there kind of a thing. <clears throat> so it's kind of interesting to see the different breakdowns over generations and who inherits what and that kind of thing. So I don't know, over time... Um, the results might change as things get better, as testing gets better. We'll see. But for now, um, it seems like, uh, it's pretty, pretty more or less spot on. I also have, uh, results on 23andMe. It's very similar to Ancestry, you know, more or less the half Italian and the half, you know, German, uh, English kind of thing going on. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, hope you liked my video. Um, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, um, put them down below. Bye. Have a good day. And maybe I'll be talking again later. I don't know. <laughs>